Good morning everybody, Uneducated Economist here. So I had a video that was sent to me by quite a few viewers asking me to do like a video analysis summary of what's going on in this interview with the Brian Reynolds. Now, if you're not familiar with the interview, I'll leave a link down in the description for you guys. And it's kind of in three sections, so I'm gonna break it down into three sections as well. I'm gonna do like three different videos, maybe one this morning, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. And we'll discuss like the three different sections. Now, the first part is talking about this daisy chain. And what he's referring to is the pension funds that are underfunded. So like all the teachers, police department, fire department, what they have been promised and what is available is underfunded by like a third. So these pension funds are out there seeking a return to make up for the shortfall of funding that they have or that they don't have to pay out here to all the pensioners. And what they have gotten themselves into is high yielding corporate debt. Now, anytime you ever say high yielding, you're referring to the uh, risk of the borrower that you're loaning money to. Okay, so just like when you're buying a house or a car, if you have bad credit, you're going to pay a higher interest rate. The better your credit, the lower the interest rate gets. Same thing with these corporate bonds that these pension funds have been buying. If they're paying, if it's a high yielding corporate bond, is because they're a more riskier borrower. So this is the bonds that these pension funds have targeted in order to make up for the shortfall of funding that they have for their, you know, to pay out to their pensioners. So once these corporations have borrowed this money from the pension funds, they have taken that money and they have bought back their own stock. And this is the daisy chain effect that he is referring to. Taxes going into pensions, pensions buying high yielding corporate debt, and these corporations who once they have borrowed this money from the pension funds buying back their own stock, elevating their stock price. So that's part one. Part two will be the dangerous situation it is that these uh, pension funds have gotten themselves into by buying this high yielding corporate debt. All right, uneducated economist, we'll talk to you here this afternoon.